路灯、路牌、国旗被风吹得摇摇晃晃，街上民众都穿着风衣挡风。不管晴天雨天，只要是在英国，几乎都会看到这样的景象，因为这是到底的英国风情。风大是英国的特色，也是发电一大动力。英国的风力发电蓬勃发展，看看这张风力发电地图，密密麻麻的蓝色圆点覆盖英国，每一个点都是风力发电机所在地，风机多到在路边就能看得到。就连在大伦敦也能看到一两只风机出现在工厂区，而像这样设置在陆地上的风机，在英国就有四千两百八十七只，离岸风机也有一千零七十五只。二零一二年，英国总发电量有百分之十一点三来自再生能源，其中就有百分之四十七点五是风力发电。The UK, you effectively have a range of renewable technologies. You have a bit of hydro, you have a bit of biomass,、uh, you know,、uh, landfill gas, and so on. But really, the strength in terms of resource, the strength in this country is wind. You know, it's a, it's a very windy country, and you have good resources both onshore and offshore. Contribution of these other renewable technologies will probably stay around 10% in the sort of medium term, while wind, on its own, is going to ramp up to about 20% by 2020. The United Kingdom now has more offshore wind farms than the rest of the world put together. So the question now is, I think, for a lot of the the, the kind of UK businesses and and for the lot, you know, for for the UK business strategists in government, is how do you convert that leadership position into long-term economic benefits? More, still, more, because the UK government has set goals for 2020. The production of renewable energy will be at least 15% of the total production. Outside the land wind farms, it will be increased to 3,000. Offshore wind farms will also be increased from 9,000 to 12,000. They see essentially essentially wave and tidal contributing something like 20%. 20% in the short term, which is the practically extractable resource, as they call it. Wave and tidal energy needs to be properly supported. You know, in terms of research and development, in the short term, and then in terms of uh, 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 price per unit of electricity in the longer term. 潮汐发电就是利用海水涨潮与退潮的时候，透过水流来推动发电机产生动力发电。不过，受限于高成本，还要找出潮差高、水流速度快的可行性地点。目前只有英国、法国等地比较积极发展。尤其英国不但要在苏格兰建设欧洲最大的潮汐发电机，威尔斯也有大型计划。It's a very exciting project,、uh, which is to to build tidal energy. Off the coast of Wales, the tide comes in and out every six and a half hours. But if you take the two different bays in Wales, they're completely out of sync with each other. That means you're always getting electricity. We、uh, need to drive forward and expand the use of renewables,、um, and that's particularly wind and solar, and to bring down the costs of offshore wind. Uh, and to bring down the costs of tidal power. 潮汐发电和离岸风力发电都必须长期发展以量制价。如果价格是一大考量，那么太阳能可能是个不错的选择。跟着主人的脚步，我们爬上屋顶，看到上面架设了许多太阳能板。像今天这样，天气晴朗，日照充足。太阳能发电就能产生不少电力，而电力会透过这个转换器进入家中。想知道每天发电多少度，只要打开 iPad 就能监控。So、the best month was、um, July of 2013. That was amazing actually because we we generated 446.8 kilowatt hours in that month. January of 2013, we only produced 
，太阳能发电看天吃饭，这家人也伺机行动，趁天气好的时候使用洗碗机等耗电量大的家电，加装太阳能板两年多来，省电也省了不少钱。We've generated,、uh, in terms of actual money from it, over two thousand pounds. I think two thousand three hundred and two pounds, according to our solar edge reading. Uh, which is good, but that doesn't even take into account the electricity we've saved from from using the electricity direct from the panels themselves. Probably in five years, actually, the panels would pay off the investment,、um, and then obviously they just keep generating after that as well. So, so yeah, I think it's a good investment. 抢在二零一二年四月之前加装太阳能板，每度电政府补贴四十三便士，大约是二十亿元新台币。虽然之后补贴金额大幅下降，但当时吸引不少人加装太阳能板。在英国，不止房屋上能看到太阳能板，桥上也有。跨泰晤士河的黑修士铁道桥上面共有四千四百多片太阳能板，每年产生的电力大约是九十万度，可以供应黑修士车站一半的电力。二零一四年出完工之后，成为目前世界上最大的太阳能发电桥。英国有世界之最的太阳能桥，全球装置容量最高的离岸风力发电，潮汐发电也领先许多国家。这些都是英国为能源多元发展努力之下的成果。为了未来的电，英国铺下绿能与核能两条道路，他们不分道扬镳，而是让英国的能源有更多选择，走得更长更远。